Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Men. Today we're going to discuss what happens when you have one of those oh bleep moments with your shoes. And I'll show you what happened to me. I was out the other day and yep, hit a real nice piece of the sidewalk with my monk straps. So what do you do? Are your shoes ruined? Nope. I'm going to show you guys here in about how it takes about three minutes to fix literally a divot uh, taken out of your shoe. Um, so bear with me. I'm going to show you how I do it. And then uh, we'll put the timer on. I would say three to four minutes we'll be done with this. So the first thing we want to do is clean the shoes entirely. So I've already kind of cheated here uh, and we'll have this. So just a mild soap. I'm a big fan of using... Lexol soap, um, it kind of gets rid of everything on there and I try to get in the grooves and the bevels of the shoe. Even though this shoe is in good shape, I'll do the same thing. Don't mind my exercises, I do truly use them every once in a while. So I let that sit for about 30 seconds or so. I will let that somewhat dry off and then I will wipe this down and again I get try to get in all the channels of the shoe. So that one's pretty much dry. Uh, and for those asking if anyone is concerned, these are old, old, I think Magnani or Magnani, as I've been told they're pronounced, Miro's or Mira. I have had these, my God, my son was four, and now he's almost 18. So these are 13 or 14 years old. But again, I just get them uh, kind of toppied with protective soles and new heel things, and away we go. So anyway, long story short, you can still see the damage there, right? Pretty, pretty significant. First thing I do, is I will take, and I use sapphire or sapphire uh, for everything. This is a medium brown. This is not a truly dark, dark brown. I just dab this on here, just like this. Just in circular motions, I will cover that front toe area up. And I will do this for, oh, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And then I will do the exact same thing for the other shoes so they match. Even though I didn't destroy those like I did these. And I'll go back in. I can see a little bit of kind of pigment coming through. I'll just go back in and do this again. Same thing there. What I'll do while that's drying is I will get my uh, jar of renovator there. Um, open that guy up. And just a little bit, just a little dab here. I will do the rest of this shoe. And I and I apply this very liberally. I don't, um, you know, it's shoe, it's leather. I get under there. I will try to also do the sole. Now we need a little more. So again, I, I put this on pretty liberally. Um, again, I get the heel, I get the sole edge here. I think like most of us, we beat the bejesus out the back of the shoe. So that one is done. Start with this guy. And pretty liberally here, this one. For those who are asking, what are my thoughts of the Magnani shoe line? I absolutely love them. I was a big fan of Santoni's 
years ago. Um, and I know they had some issues with getting them uh, imported here to the States. I've worn Edward Green. I had a pair of John Lau back in the day. Um, there's some really nice shoes. Gravati used to make a great pair of shoes. Just not found anymore. To boot, New York makes a good pair of shoes. But Magnani, I think, for bang for your buck is, man, they're as good as you can get. I mean, 300, 350 bucks, and they're always, they always seem to have them on sale. So that's kind of how the toe looks. I know, super zoom here. So I will just take this brush. You know, those people who are hoping for ASMR, I'm going to talk way too much for this, but... And again, I don't put a super, 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 super gloss on these, uh, like my guy Kirby Allison does. Uh, <laughs> sorry for the shaking. I literally put my ass into these. Um, I, I like it kind of a medium. I'll wear these with a little bit of everything. And the world is so casual now, uh, especially where I'm at. That I don't wear three-piece suits anymore, that's for sure. So I don't need a super high spit shine on these guys. So getting there, right? You can hardly see it now. Do the same thing with this shoe. And that's normally, I would say, enough for most people, right? Like that's, you, know, you kind of fixed the toe. You really can't see it anymore. But what I'll do is just for kind of an added measure today uh, and to kind of protect them from rain, I will use another sapphire. Uh, this is their, really their shoe polish polish. What I will do is wet this rag. Yes, I probably need more. Look at this stuff. This is old. It still works, but it's old. So I'll get a little bit on there, and yes, it's gonna go all wet. So I'm just gonna put that on there. Again, on the sole. I probably won't get real, real close to what I just did with the toe, although you could. That guy's done. This thing's still pretty damp, so I don't really need to get much more water. I'll get a little more product. Again, I will do the sole, the edging here, the heel. I get the buckles. We'll let that dry for a couple minutes. Uh, we will come back and Polish those off. All right, so we let these dry for a couple minutes. Very quickly, I'll polish these off. And just to show you how quickly it is to kind of fix a oh bleep mad time experience when you think you've ruined your shoes. If it's a hundred dollar pairs of shoes or twelve hundred dollar pair of shoes, we're all in the same boat. We all get like, oh man, did that just happen? Um, I guess fortunately or unfortunately. I've been through this a few too many times in my life um, and kind of know how to fix it. If it's really, really bad, like really bad, go to a local shoe cobbler. They literally will take um, pieces of leather, old leather, uh, cut it and fill the space, believe it or not. So yes, that's happened to me before as well. The wax polish that I just put on is good really for water repellency. I don't use it very often because it will harden the shoe. Um, even though I used um, the Renovator and some other things, I, I don't like using it very often. I know a lot of guys will use polish just in your toe for that high shiny toe area.
but there you have it uh, you know quickly done probably more than a few minutes that we discussed but quickly done you can see that that toe hair pull it in is now pretty much fixed um, I'll clean this stuff up off camera in here but pretty much clean the toe that was scuffed so pretty neat what you can do with a few dollars worth of the right stuff at your house um, but literally they'll look now look you know as good as they did when they were yeah, somewhat new but anyway we fixed the issue so anyway thanks for watching uh, subscribe like smash that like button and we'll see you next time thanks guys